Hello everyone, it's Desiree, and today we are watching the process of me illustrating a sketchbook. But before we get started, I wanted to remind all of you that I have an Etsy shop and I have a bunch of prints for sale at DesireeJohnson.etsy.com. Find many prints ranging from $15 to $25 and also some of my originals and soon some uh, custom commission spots. I also have an Instagram where I am giving away two prints for free. Really excited about the giveaway. All you have to do is go to my Instagram and repost the photo and everything and you will be entered into the giveaway. All the details are on the post. But anyway, let's start describing this process. Yeah, so this is pretty much completely on the fly. <laughs> uh, like, I kind of had a rough idea of what I wanted the subject to be, but I was just kind of messing around with these really cheap Walmart acrylics. Um, yeah, the, the quality was horrible. They didn't really have a lot of pigmentation, and I never really understood what people meant when they said that cheap paints have more binder than they have pigmentation, but yeah, I figured it out. Yeah, like, I would use the white, and the white just wouldn't get on the paper, and I just had to keep using it, and I kept using it, and I kept using it. But yeah, this is the first time I've used acrylics in, I don't know, maybe like a year or so for like a real painting, so yeah, that was weird and different. But the one thing I really like about acrylics is the way you can very, very quickly layer, and there's no um, smudging or, you know the mixing of colors in a way that you don't want because they dry <laughs> um yeah and for this like really simple sort of painting or whatever it's fine for me that they dry super quickly like that's the number one thing about acrylics that i hated when i was doing more complex paintings and learning was that they dried so quickly and i couldn't mix paints or um you know get things to a level of detail that I like because, you know, when I finished mixing my second paint, it was done. <laughs> you know, all of the paint was dry and I couldn't go back and I would just be in this terrible mixing tornado, you know, but yeah, for something small like this, it's like, why not? And I wanted to test out these cheap paints anyway because I kind of wanted to do a mural in my room and I, I can't paint on my wall with oil paint, so... I kind of figured that I would have to do acrylics, and I wasn't going to buy expensive acrylics for it, so yeah, uh, you know, just testing out these acrylics, um, they were pretty garbage, but, <laughs> you know, I figured out how to work with them, and that's fine. Uh, there was one acrylic paint from this, uh, sort of collection that I got from Walmart, and it was like a, gr a glitter paint or whatever. You can see it on the crown of this little princess forest girl. Yeah, this concept was not very thoroughly thought out. I just kind of started slapping paint on there. But yeah, you can see it in the crown of Princess Forest Girl. Um, yeah, that's glitter. And I really like that. Um, yeah, you have to be kind of careful with it because it comes out like white with glitter inside of it. And it kind of scared me a lot. I was like, I don't want it to be white. But the white dries clear and it just kind of leaves glitter there. So yeah, um... Yeah, I'm writing my friend's name on the, on the side of it because it was for her and I like, yeah, I just, I just really wanted to like encourage her to keep on with art or whatever. Um, yeah, I think she's going into like the medical field or the business field, I don't know. Um, yeah, something like that, but she's a really good artist and she was like my art club vice president and yeah, you know, uh, I really like admired her style and stuff. It was really cutesy and like... I don't know, detail and stuff like that. So yeah, like, I don't know. I feel a way about people just sort of quitting art because they feel like it's not financial. Like, I, I totally understand it and it's totally their choice and stuff. But I don't know, it makes me kind of sad. Like, I don't know, we lost another one, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But she'll probably continue doing art. And even if she doesn't, I'm sure she's going to be great at whatever she does because... Yeah, one thing about creative people is that creativity is a very overlooked skill and you kind of need it for everything. Like, you know, being able to find really interesting solutions to problems is a facet of creativity, not really of learned skill or anything. It's something that you just have to be able to do. 
Um, yeah, another thing I like about acrylics, <laughs> you know, <laughs> great transition. Um, another thing I like about acrylics is the ability to layer other mediums on it. That's one thing I really hate about oils. You cannot, you know, just stick, you know, weird colored pencil or whatever on it. And that's one thing that I love about acrylics is that you can just, you know, put whatever you want on top of it and you're not going to have all of those weird archival issues that you get with oils. Um... Yeah, I, I, there's so many archival issues with oils, and I'm just so scared to do anything in oils because I'm like, yeah, it's just gonna like rot off or something. But for acrylics, I just kind of slap anything on there, and I'm like, whatever. Um, but yeah, so the painting is done. <laughs> uh, here's some detail shots. Um, it's kind of messy, but I really like it that way. <laughs> you know, yeah. There you go. Yeah, really tiny sketchbook I got from Walmart. Uh, just a quick gift for a friend. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Etsy and like my Facebook page and my Instagram. And okay, uh, bye, you guys. <laughs>